Hi, this is Simon from Ursa. Thank you very much for tuning into the Sound Summit and thank you for Sound Devices for holding this summit. It's a really great idea and, and at this time it's just nice to have a kind of a collective um, sort of presence of people with, with sharing ideas. Um, I really look forward to sort of chatting with people later on in, in, in the live video. Um, but yeah, we've Laura and I have been sort of in London quarantine conditions. It's been very weird. Uh, to not be able to go out and see friends and go to events and it's been a real sort of difficult period to get through and it sadly it feels like it's going to be going on for quite a while longer um, I guess this video it might just be more useful to talk about how we have to deal with the conditions of social distancing for film productions now uh, what we have to what we'll have to do to be able to do our jobs under different conditions and how we can change our workflow and sort of change our uh, approach to talent and how we wire them up specifically radio mics we don't really know what it's going to look like in the coming months when it comes to film shoots maybe there won't be any maybe some will come back on and if they do Will we be wiring them up like we did before or will we be having to apply a different method? Uh, I suspect that we're going to have to be very careful when it comes to radio microphones and quite likely we'll be leaving either the talent to wire themselves or possibly the costume person to put, that, put it on as they may have a bit more intimate contact with that talent. So I suspect that if we are in a situation where uh, you can't get too close to the talent and we can't touch the radio mics and we're going to have to be relying on them putting it on themselves which never has gone down particularly well in the past but um, a couple of tips that we we could give is that obviously we would highly recommend washing Ursa straps every day um, what you should do is if you put them in uh, the washing machine then that's absolutely fine put them on 40 we recommend 40 if your production asks you to do it higher than 40 then you can wash them at 60 that is absolutely fine we just recommend 40 as it's it's is sort of the normal temperature you would wash garments at but if you want to wash them at 60 that's absolutely fine the straps will hold up and you can put them in a tumble dryer on a sort of medium cupboard dry heat and that's absolutely fine if you put them in at like a really high temperature there's a, they may shrink very slightly that's what the fabric does but then if you give it a stretch it will come back to its regular size um, in terms of cleaning other products of ours I mean you can use an alcohol wipe on our mini mounts and you know just if they, if they need to clean those sections and we'd recommend also if you've got a little zipper case that we do Putting, um, putting the strap and the wire and transmitter and like a spare battery and any other tapes uh, or, or consumables that an artist might need or a cost person might need to put, give everyone separate bags. And I think what's happening in the UK at the minute is um, the sound guy on any shoots which are going on, there are no boom operators on these shoots. It's like there's just one sound guy and he gives the talent a pack and the mic and they put it on themselves and they keep it and they wash it and then they wear it the next day and then they give it back to the sound guy when they're finished with it. So these are the kind of conditions we might have to work under. And you know, we hope to keep in touch with you guys and let you know how things change in the UK and and if there's any other we hope to be doing some sort of new videos talking about sort of wiring yourself and giving some tips and tricks to to talent if they do have to wire themselves. So we're in a different world now, guys, and unfortunately things are going to change and we might not be going back to the regular routines that we were once in. So, you know, fingers crossed we, we can, but if we can't for the time being, then I they hope to be sharing some, some methodology with you guys soon of how we can cope. But the lovely Kim and Todd in LA have still been doing Ursa exclusives for us. We're really happy with the latest one they did with Tom Curley about Whiplash. It's such a wicked video. And we hope to re release some more of those soon. Um, we're going to be doing some more sort of video-based Ursa exclusives coming soon. And um, and possibly some, some other little tips and tricks videos for Instagram and Facebook. But yeah, um, I hope you've um, enjoyed this quick intro. There's a little in, there's a little video we're going to put after this, uh, which is just just so a, a video that Todd and Kim have put together with some of our products. So I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you can tune in for the live stream after this. Thank you. Mm -hmm.